Hey guys, so I got my horror box. And uh, if you don't know about the horror box, I pulled it up real quick. Uh, you could order from four different types. You got the beginner, which is $29.99. The collectors, which is $69.99. Uh, the deluxe, $49.99. And then the mega collector box for $99.99. I went and got the mega. Because shit, why not? So then they message you with a questionnaire. It's like 10 questions. Let me pull it up real quick. And just to get an idea of, of what you, uh, the kind of stuff you like, which I thought was pretty cool. I was like, all right, well, this will be neat. And, uh, they ask, what did they ask? They asked seven questions. Um, what are your favorite types of horror movies? Oh, do you watch television shows? Who are your favorite horror characters? What size t-shirt do you wear? Are there any movies that you'd like in, in your collect, or you'd like to have in your collection that we might be able to help you find? And if so, what format would you like them? Uh, is there anything specifically that you collect? And do you have a YouTube channel? And would you do an unboxing video review for us? So I had answered. I'm a sla more of a slasher fan, although I do enjoy a thriller from time to time. I'm a big Evil Dead and Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan. Uh, Ash Williams, Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers, Leatherface seem to be the focal point of my collection as of late, which is which is true. <laughs> uh, DVDs and Blu-rays, hard to say. There's damn near a thousand of them just floating around in this house. And I said uh, that I typically predominantly collect masks and posters and stuff like that. So with that, there's guaranteed items daily, weekly, I'm not sure. Um, they post it on the Facebook page. So, I will show you what my guaranteed items were. And the first one was this NECA Chucky, which I was pretty excited about. And it's, from a collector's standpoint, all dinked up. Kind of bummed about that, to be honest with you. The figure itself is really fucking cool. Lots of cool uh, features to it. I'm sure most of you guys have seen this thing. But like I said, from a collector standpoint, the box is all dinged. And that was kind of a bummer. Uh, the second guaranteed item was a pint glass. And I opted for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This showed up in good shape. Everything is uh, in one piece, no chips. I like this. So now, now we get to the mystery part and all the other stuff. So, I ended up, now I read to you the questionnaire and this type of stuff that I liked and what have you. So now I got a Freddy Krueger Mad Ball. I have no use for this. <laughs> uh, Michael Myers Halloween, I don't even, coasters? Yeah, these are coasters. I got a Leatherface koozie, which is cool, but the Mega Collector's box has coasters and koozies in it. I got a 8-bit Xenomorph pop that I already own. 
which box came in excellent shape, might I add. <laughs> this box is flawless, so I'll probably try to have that signed at some point. Then I got uh, a Japanese Army of Darkness sticker, which is, that's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, an Evil Dead patch, which if I collected patches, I'd probably be all over it. I got a Friday the 13th mouse pad. Which is cool, but who the fuck uses mouse pads? I'm not a graphic designer, and since the invention of the smartphone and tablet, I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, 99 out of 100 people just use that stuff. So, yay, useless item. Uh, I got an Evil Dead coloring book. I'll have to open this up and check it out. And this is actually not Bruce Campbell. <laughs> That's not, these aren't. That's not them. It might be, I might just be being a dick. I have to look at this real quick because this is weird. Okay. So these are <laughs> this is a, an adult coloring book. Pages are glossy. Which is it's not bad. It's neat. Anyhow. Uh, this I actually like. This is a neighborhood watch. With the old Jason on that. It looks like a like a hotter Jason. You can all make fun of me for being wrong if you want. And then I got a keychain. Evil Dead keychain, Texas Chainsaw Massacre playing cards, where this is kind of cool. And then lastly, a poster that was taped, chewed up, not protected at all in the box. And it's a, it was a 2013 Evil Dead poster, which is cool, but it was taped and the sides are all chewed up. So, no, that's it. So, I spent a hundred bucks on a bunch of shit that I could have gotten at Hot Topic. Not that cool. I was expecting a little more. But maybe that's because I've been spoiled. I'd rather have five killer items than 15, meh. And that's really what I, I feel like came out of this box. A lot of meh. So, whereas some of it's pretty cool, just kind of not what I expected. Anyway, I will be excited for July. 
when some of the other boxes that we all enjoy will be released. And, uh, yeah, what have you. So, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. And I know I sound kind of jaded, but like I said, I just expected more from the box. I was, uh, tchotchkes are not my thing. You know, knickknacks and keychain. I don't use them. I don't care about them. When somebody else has it, I go, oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. And never think about it again. <laughs> so anyway, that was the unboxing. I had done a video. I had already opened it and I knew what was in here and had time to think about it. But the first video that I did was pretty much me after work going, I got this. I got this. I got this and said, all right, let me redo this. So, all right guys, have a good weekend and we'll see you next time.